Right. A man walks into the doctor's office and says, Doctor, doctor, it hurts when I do that. And he says, well, don't do it then. <laughs> I'm Vinny Vex and I'm really excited to be sitting in this chair. <laughs> I'm Chick. I'm Tommy V. I'm ATR. I'm Louis Q and we're a bad actress. <laughs> we wanna rock from faces, we wanna melt some faces throughout the world. Um, and we're hopefully gonna hit some bigger festivals and keep climbing our way up that ladder until we're touring the world, arena shows, and melting too many faces that the arena sets on fire. Cause that's red hot rock and roll. So Bad Actress started with a song called Low Down and Dirty. Um, when me and Louis, uh, we wrote this riff and we just thought it was so cool. Um, so we recorded it on a little eight track mixer and played it through my stereo and just whacked up the subwoofer and started jumping on the bed like, oh, we're gonna be rock stars, you know? So we were pretty excited. And uh, we, to be fair, we still play that song. So we got one, one, so, so far so good. So uh, Tommy, oh, so Tommy B and, uh, and ATR, they came into the picture. They played in other bands around the area. And, um, and I was like, guys, your bands aren't great, but I've got a better opportunity for you. <laughs> I'm joking. I actually ended up playing in some of their bands and filling in on drums, and Tommy hated me playing drums, so yeah, soon after the band ended, and um, I like to think I had a little something to do with that. Um, so, yeah, anyway, he, he, I asked if he wanted to come and play guitar, and he confirmed that I would be playing guitar and not drums. Um, we had Louis on drums, we had a couple of songs, kind of ACDC style stuff, and, I mean, we thought it was the coolest. We thought we hit a gold mine with that low down and dirty riff. We were still like jumping about, listening to it. So we just, yeah, we were like, Tommy, we'll get you on a million, million pound contract here. And, and we eventually got him and he brought his pal Fergie, he played bass with one of their other bands. And um, so he came along and he played bass with us to start with. And then we went for a few different bass players. And ATR also played in bands with Tommy. I think he was actually the original drummer in some of these bands that I, that I appeared in. Um, so, uh, bottom line is Tommy's pretty picky with his drummers, so Louis done well to last this long. So I met Vinny in the womb, uh, two years apart. We were actually, we weren't in the womb together. It was his womb, then it was my womb. But we're brothers, uh, and so is Louis on the drums. He's, he's the young, young gun, um, and Vinny's the older one. And we're all kind of a family band. I mean, Tommy's the granddad, and Alex is the cool uncle. So you know, it's a pretty good dynamic, and that's, that's how you, you know the bad actress you, you maybe know today. Uh, and if you don't, you know us now. So what sets us apart from other bands? Our fun attitude. You cannot go to one of our shows without being extremely energetic and excited afterwards. Because, you know, we play, we bring the party, and it's just a good time for everyone involved. Other than that stuff, I think musically we bring so much. You know, we were taking all of our inspiration from back in the day of the 80s, the stuff that we were brought up with that our parents loved, but then we're putting our modern touch on it. We're making it fun, we're making it exciting, we're making it modern, we're giving you something that you've never heard before. And frankly, if that's not a reason to come and see us, I don't know what is. And I think that's one thing that really sets us apart from other bands. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but it just is not Red Hot Lock and No. Why did we go in the direction we did? Well, you we were talking a good number of years back now. Um, I think we were all just kind of fed up really with what we were hearing in our local scene. Um, we just wanted to be kicked back to the 80s sort of stuff, you know, like ACDC, Motley Crew, stuff like that. We just, that's just the kind of stuff we enjoyed listening to and no one was playing it. So we thought, fuck it, we'll do it. And here we are, many years later, and we're fucking loving it. When we won the Stormbreakers competition for Winterstorm, I myself was surprised because there was a lot of good bands on. Um, and yeah, it's just it's weird to think that out of all of them, we were the ones that were chosen because um, it was really great bands. I've got one of them on just now, Fallen Mafia, they were playing. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a great night. It was uh, 
a great organised gig. We've done a few battle bands in our time and this is definitely tip top of it all. And yeah, the chance to play the festival is just amazing. Um, yeah, it's just it's a big gig and we're buzzing for it. We're going to be releasing tons of new music over the next year, so there's a bit of a spoiler there, but it's all going to be pretty exciting. And we've actually started, started tracking a lot of it now and we're all pretty excited about it, so yeah, get ready for that. Um, we also have festivals next year, we're doing some, we're doing Rock and the Bowl Festival down in Sheffield, Rockwich Festival in Nor Norwich, um, we're at Hard Rock Hell Sleaze, also in Sheffield. Um, and Winter Storm this year as well, so so tons of cool shows coming up. Um, so we're just going to be playing shows and releasing music and rocking out. You can check us out on badactress.net. We're also at Bad Actress Band on the various socials that the kids have these days. And, uh, you know, all your streaming platforms, Spotify and all that jazz. So now you know who we are and where to check us out. We expect to see you at some shows in the future. We've been Bad Actors and we'll see you soon.